Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Dark Souls Remastered walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am, and today we are going to be ringing the second bell of awakening and then making our way back up to Sin's Fortress. So, before we get started, I want to show everybody, I do have Homeward Bones on, Dung Pie, Blooming Purple Moss, and Regular Purple Moss, along with the Grass Crest Shield. I put that back on. We don't need our Spider Shield anymore. So, with that all being said, let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and take this chaos bug out. This one too. Talk to Quailana real quick. Ah, there you are. I was expecting you. Let us begin. The Witch of Isolith, please, do not speak of her. I abandoned my mother and sisters and fled to this land. Now I roam these parts, feigning ablution and pretending to seek answers. No luck, hmm? Well, young pupil, you must have patience, but do not keep me waiting much longer. Grab a large Titanite that we missed in the last episode. We're going to run up top here. I'm not going to bother trying to kill the big guys. Not really worth my time. Let's go ahead and cure our poison real quick. Then we'll drink an Estus. We're going to be taking down Quaylag or Quaylog, whatever you like to say for her name. Either way is fine. Right here we have Maneater Mildred. We're going to summon her, then go through the fog wall and watch a cutscene. I'll see everybody after the cutscene. Be careful not to get behind her for too long. She does have a couple AOE attacks when she roars back away. She's going to explode. And then she has a chaos twerk. She'll twerk all over your face and not in the good way. So do be careful. Ooh. Man eater Mildred, what are you doing? She's not really a hard boss at all. She's going to roar. That's her roar attack. Be very careful for that. And there you go. Quaylag is dead. Most people's favorite boss is Quaylag, um, for obvious reasons, I'm sure. Uh, 
But after killing her, we get her soul and a twin humanities. Let's go ahead and go ring the second bell of awakening. Okay, after watching the cutscene, we get a homeward bone. Let's head down the stairs. We're going to roll into this wall. This wall is an illusory wall. Before we do, let's go ahead and put our old witch's ring on. We're going to talk to Ingi. Oh dear, what have we here? Are you a new servant? Mm. But you have no eggs. Ha, no matter. Go along and have audience with our fair lady. I pray that you will mind your manners. We're going to sit at this bonfire. Just so we have a place to uh, warp back to. Let's go ahead and talk to the fair lady. Quilag, my dear sister. Quilag, what is it? Quilag. My dear sister, the eggs, it hurts. They've gone still. I am afraid it may be too late. I am so sorry, dear sister. I'll be fine. I have you, dear sister. Promise me that you will take care of yourself. Goodbye, Quayluck. It was so very nice to chat. Let's go ahead and take the old witch's ring off. Put our rusted iron ring back on. Let's talk to Ingi. Are you prepared to dedicate yourself to our fair lady? Then I will make available whatever you require. If you need something, ask me first. There is no time for idle chat. Think only of our fair lady and what she may need. So if you keep the ring on and then talk to Ingi, He's actually surprised that you can talk to the fair lady. I just took it off a little too soon, unfortunately. Sorry about that. I'll put it back on when we go to reinforce our Estus flask. Light that bonfire. We're going to come down this way. We're going to go ahead and get a egg on our head. So we need one of these guys to have its parasitic worm hug our face.
There we go. Definitely some alien vibes there. Face huggers. <laughs> Although it's not really a face hugger, it's just an egg being planted on our face. We're going to go up top. By the way, quick side note, do not kill these guys. Um, they're non-hostile, but they will become hostile if you smack them. But when you kill them, a bunch of parasitic worms will pop out and will be very obnoxious. So be aware of that. Don't kill those guys. I should have let everybody know when we first got in there and we're fighting Quaylag. Unfortunately, I did not. Just going to run by. We're going to have one of the big guys notice us. Just keep running. As long as you don't slow down, you should be all right. We're going to start itching our head here. Go ahead and take a purple moss. Hopefully we don't itch our head when we're trying to get off this elevator here. Or this makeshift elevator. Be really careful. It's easy to fall to your death right there. Just whenever it gets to the top. Gonna hop off if you can. We're gonna take out this chaos bug. And then we're gonna try to take out this mosquito. There we go. Should be one more over here too. Mosquito, that is. Nah, I don't see it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to get the toxic effect on ourselves. Because if we make ourselves intoxicated or toxic, we don't take as much damage. If the guys give us the toxic effect with the blow darts, we take immensely more damage than what we would if we did it ourselves. Just kind of hold your shield out. There's a bunch of these guys. This strategy is well known by the Souls community. It's kind of one of those strategies that everybody does. I think it's rather cool. There we go. Now let's go ahead and get this toxic status off. And then we're going to kill these dogs. They shouldn't be too much of a problem. We'll have to see, I suppose. This one might be a problem. 
Ooh. Well, maybe we'll just go down there and fight it. Oh. Then our head gets a big old egg on it. We're an egg head. Let's go ahead and pick up a firekeeper soul here. And then we're going to homeward bone back to that bonfire we rested at. I'll see everybody in just a minute. Let's go ahead and take off these two items. And then we're going to put on the old witch's ring again and get some new dialogue from Ingi after talking to the fair lady. Oh my dear sister, don't mind me. It does not hurt terribly. Let's go ahead and reinforce our flask. We'll talk to her one more time. Quayla, my dear sister, you know, I still remember your beautiful, silky face. If only I could gaze upon it once more. Goodbye, Quayla. It was so very nice to chat. Well, now, you're just like me. Your dedication is fully apparent. Only, well, your head looks awful. Why not try this? I've no use for it any longer. He's going to give us an egg vermifuge. Oh, hello. What is it that you need? We can also buy Toxic Mist from him. In all honesty, I am envious. What comfort can I offer without speaking her tongue? We'll go ahead and use the Egg Vermifuge. And then we'll take off the ring now. Unfortunately, I think I missed the dialogue that I was trying to go for. I'm sorry, everybody. Let's head back to where we were. We're going to go up and out of Blight Town. I'm pretty sure everybody has had enough of Blight Town and is ready for something new. We're just going to run under this root right over here. Just keep running. Don't slow down. Wait for this, and then we'll cure our poison while we're going up to the top here. Ooh, sorry about that. That camera. 
thought I was about to fall to my death. Kill this chaos bug, and we want to kill the mosquito. We want to get it out of our way. We should have one more, hopefully. There he is. Be really careful traversing these routes. Really easy to fall to your death here. I've done it multiple times. This ladder right here, I wouldn't climb it. There's nothing up top there. Just a whole bunch of disappointment. We get the Crimson Armor set, along with the Tin Banishment Catalyst, and another Mosquito sneaking up on me. Can open up this chest for a Sorcery Remedy, is our Sorcery that we get out of that chest. I always uh, walk across that with caution. Too many times have I fell to my death right there. We're just going to be making our way on up. We don't have to worry about those dark guys anymore. Those guys are dead. And not only that, but we also upgraded our Estus Flask again today. Killed a boss, upgraded our Estus Flask. It's definitely been a productive episode. Just keep climbing the ladders. Getting out of Blight Town is a lot easier than getting into it. Get the key to New Londo Ruins. Over here we're going to have three big guys. I'm not going to bother fighting these guys. If you want to, feel free. I mean, souls are souls. You can never have too many, that's for sure. That's my motto. Right over here, we can see a door and an item. We're going to come back for that. First, we want to cross this rope bridge and kill ourselves a dragon. Oh, by the way, real quick. Make sure you're just at this last piece of grass because then you won't get hit by its toxic puke. I don't know what to call it. Toxic spit, puke, venom. I don't know. I know it messes you up. That I do know. Is this cheesy? Absolutely. Do we care? Absolutely not. Sometimes you just gotta accept the cheese and move on. There we go. We get a dragon scale. Then we can pick up a store of straight sword. Dragon crest shield. And then a soul. Now we can backtrack. If we also if we were to continue that way, it'll lead us to the Valley of the Drakes. But we've been over there already. That's where we got the red tear stone ring. And we also got the brigand armor along with the spider shield. We don't need to go back over there. We need to continue over here.
Pick up another soul. Use our key to the new Londo ruins. Now if we need to get to Blight Town, we have an easier way of getting there. I'm going to head up these stairs. Be careful, the elevator is up top. This is going to lead us to Firelink Shrine. We're going to talk to a few NPCs. And then we're going to head over to the Undead Parish. And um, talk to Andre and buy a few items. Nothing too crazy. Right here we can see an item. If we pick it up, we get the dingy attire along with the black eye orb. And then if we come back over here, you can see that it says dead. We don't see a body, but this is where the firekeeper was. And she is dead now. We'll find out who killed her a little later into the walkthrough. Also, if we come over here, we can't rest at this bonfire because the firekeeper is dead. Let's go ahead and talk to Crestfallen. Did you ring the second bell? That is incredible, I must say. But now we have a new problem. It's noisy, it snores, and its breath is lethal. This is no laughing matter, I tell you. Damn. That stench. And I was really beginning to like it here. Oh, maybe it's time I do something about it. Let's go talk to Laurentius. Oh, hello there. You've been a stranger these days. Why? What? What, what spectacular pyromancy? Tell me about it. I have never seen anything like it. Why, yes, of course. Thank you for sharing. I'm still an able pyromancer. I shall locate her myself. I'm in your debt once again. So because we bought Great Combustion, he's surprised and he's like, wow, I've never seen a pyromancy like this. And he's going to go find Quailana. So if you want to buy anything from Laurentius, buy it now because we're not going to be able to buy it from him after this, okay? Goodbye then. Be safe, friend. Don't you dare go alone. You as well, Laurentius. This is who Crestfallen was talking about. This is King Seeker Framp. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Ah, hello. Was it you who rang the Bell of Awakening? I am the Primordial Serpent, King Seeker Frampt, close friend of the Great Lord Gwyn, chosen undead, who has rung the Bell of Awakening. I wish to elucidate your fate. Do you seek such enlightenment? Very well. Then I am pleased to share. Chosen Undead, your fate is to succeed the Great Lord Gwyn, so that you may link the fire, cast away the dark, and undo the curse of the undead. To this end, you must visit Anor Londo and acquire the Lord Vessel. I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? So you can feed him all sorts of items. I would never feed him a slab. Don't feed him um, a Titanite chunk. The blue and red chunks, I don't know. If you really want to, you can feed them along with the green Titanite shards. If you have too many, um, you can get a few regular Titanite shards um, for from feeding that to him. You can also feed 
all sorts of items to them. So if you have any extra items, you can get some souls for feeding that to them. Farewell, chosen undead. I remain here and await thee. talk to Petrus one more time and then we're gonna head to the undead parish your highness where have you gone I am entirely to blame for this oh woe is me I am unworthy deathly so We're going to talk to Andre, give him an ember that we're going to be using a little later to make a divine weapon. But we're also going to buy a few things from him. We're going to buy the Crest of Artorias and we're going to buy some arrows. Real quick, let's rest at this bonfire, de-aggro the enemies and give us a place to respawn at if we die. Let's go ahead and talk to Andre. My, that's a rare ember you have there. I've seen one of those before. It's the ember of a divine blacksmith. Might you consider leaving that with me? I could produce divine weapons with a flame such as that. Well, thanks for that. You've made a fine decision. You soon shall see. Let's go ahead and buy the Crest of Artorias. And then we'll buy some standard arrows. So we need... Seventy-one. No, that was wrong. I miscounted that. Should have been... Um, 69. Ha ha ha. Um, no, uh, <laughs> I'm such a dork. We want to buy 90 more arrows. We want about 300 arrows on hand if we can. Don't get yourself killed. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. By the way, if you want to upgrade the Falchion now, you can go ahead and buy nine Titanite shards. And if you have uh, nine large shards, go ahead and upgrade it now. I'm going to wait until after and just upgrade it after we get through Sin's Fortress. So with that all being said, I want to tell everybody thank you so much for stopping by and watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.